welcome to another video and uh, today we have um, a quick little unboxing video for this reflow oven that I bought for uh, hobby projects uh, such as um, like surface mounting which is what this reflow oven is for. Um, I have used this uh, specific machine uh, in past and uh, I was really happy with the uh, results. But um, as listed on Amazon, there's been a lot of issues with this specific model. Um, and this one is the T9, T962 reflow oven. Um, uh, it has like the 800 watt, 180 by 235 millimeter infrared heater. Uh, and um, it's, to me, it's, it's pretty, to be, to be honest, it's pretty good. And the, the, the result, results that I got with it was, I mean, I was happy with it, but again, there's a lot of issues with it, but I'll touch on those in just a little sec, but let's go ahead and get inside of this box. Okay, so the box is fine there look a little bit of damage over here and it came from a long ways I believe China and uh, uh, let's go inside so let's see what it comes with it comes with uh, some manuals some more documentation work which we'll get to in just a little sec um, so we're just gonna go ahead and get this thing out of the box. Figure that out in just a sec. So I'm gonna put my hand in there. Okay, nothing else in the box. We'll get that out of the way. Great. I opened it backwards, but we'll flip that. There we go. So I'm gonna get this in just a sec. But over here in the styrofoam, other than the machine, it comes with the cable and a, an extra fuse in case you burn one that it already comes with. like tape everywhere. Just put this bag up. And there it is. Completely out of the box. Move all this plastic and all that stuff on the side. Again, these are the few things that it came with. Some documentation, the cable that it already comes with. Uh, to plug it in and then the oven itself so looking over here just looking right over here I already see some uh, damaging it's not damaging I believe this is just a magnetic sticker or some sort of adhesive sticker uh, for the uh, the heater and uh, the indication for you know the graph over here the naming and of course these buttons now off right off the bat right over here uh, few issues that were mentioned on Amazon and the reviews uh, were these buttons over here they actually stick so let's say you when you're trying to like uh, press on it, it gets stuck in place which kind of like you know messes with what messes with your like selection uh, so you, people have been complaining about that there's another thing uh, which is uh, the, uh, the the taping that's under the body of the T962 and it is actually the uh, not an actual heater ta heating tape so what people recommend it is buying a, a kept on tape over here and uh, that's because of the tape that it already comes with it's actually like one of the packaging tapes like the paper tapes it's not ideal for uh, like really uh, hot environment and this oven is gonna get super hot uh, to like 300 and something degrees. The, the tape seems to be, you know, it kind of like heats up and it kind of stinks up the room. 
Uh, so that's a down point. That's one of the down points. So that is why there's certain modification that needs to be done. And that's why I bought the Kapton tape. So let's just look around the machine right over here. Uh, as you can see, we have the drawer right over here. Uh, things are in place, so that's good. Uh, just, just a little damage over here. I don't know if I can show you, but if you can see right over there. But again, this is, it seems like this is just a sticker. So I'm not worried about that. But this is for the lamp right down there. And then this is for the fan. So once you turn this on, uh, the lamp is gonna come on. This is for the, the infrared heater inside. And then once you are done using, or once the cycle finishes up, the fan is gonna try to cool the inside out and the exhaust will come through, uh, the, the, the cooling will be happening through this uh, fan over here. Now there's also another suggestion or a modification that needs to be made and that is with this fan over here. Uh, it's a bit noisy and so therefore you might want to uh, modify this uh, fan out for something uh, that is less noisy or uh, does not emit any extra sound, unnecessary sound. And so that's one issue. Uh, I probably won't, won't uh, replace this, but depending on what kind of sound it makes, what, how bad it is, we will get to that. But definitely the tape inside of it, which we will replace. Uh, we also have another cooling fan down here, but this is for uh, the fumes. So there's probably a filter in here that filters out the uh, the solder fumes so you don't inhale anything so it's pretty safe but I do suggest uh, if you're using it in an enclosed environment there's an extra cooling system we have a switch right over here again this is the uh, the input and I believe the fuse would be also up here so you would just pop this right out with a driver or something and if you need to replace that it's right there and that's about it so that's it, so let's open the tray and see what's inside of it real quick. There you have it. Okay, it's not, it's not the best in quality, but I think it's fine, I don't know why it's sticky. Um, and so there you go. So this is stainless steel, um, and we have a glass window for you to see, but let's look inside, I don't know if you can see it, but there you go. We have about two or three filament up top, uh, which is what's going to do uh, heating. Now there's another problem with that. So already I pointed out a few problems, now one more that is inside. Now uh, a lot of people have been complaining that there's uh, an uneven heating going on. So uh, like it heats up the uh, IC or the PCB, whatever you're doing, uh, in certain places and the heat is not consistent throughout the uh, um, this tray over here. So um, there's ways of fixing that um, and the main reason why it's not consistent is it, it has probably do a number of issues but the main one is that uh, the, ins the, the controller that controls the heat uh, flow inside is off by I believe 90 degrees so when let's say for instance it's reading 290 it's really in real life uh, the temperature inside will be 200 uh, and not 290 and that's the difference causing uh, uh, some of the PCBs to either burn out because you think that you set it for 290 and it's not and you run it for a little longer but you know kind of burns it out again I did use the same um, reflow one at school and I did have to run it like twice and my PCB came out I mean just fine like I didn't have any issues with it uh, but I can show you uh, the results that I got. So this was our capstone project and uh, I'm not going to go into details on this because uh, it's something confidential 
but I'm just gonna show you some things over here. Uh, soldering went well, as you can see. Like, oops, let's see, let's get a focus on this. Anyways, yeah, this was my very first uh, surface mounting project that I did on this. Um, reflow one and uh, it went it turned out pretty good I did have to again run it twice because it was uh, not fully soldered on or the solder paste was not melted completely and so I had to run it uh, for one more cycle and uh, I mean it wasn't that bad let's see if we're in focus perfect so that's about it I mean there is there is a lot of issues and I will be reusing this because I'm working on a small project uh, uh, and I will need to use this for that purpose and I have everything ordered, ordered for it I have the solder paste over here I uh, got the kept on tape um, and the PCBs are on there I just placed an order for it uh, like yesterday and I also bought a uh, microscope for which I'm gonna do a separate review video it's an OptiTech uh, scope this is for surface mounting and multi-purpose scope uh, which I will get to in the next video but I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and um, wanted to point it at point point out a few things causing people to complain um, but let's see so these are a few things that we need to fix again I am I've used it in the past it is the exact one I've used and I have not seen an issue other than the uh, uh, I can confirm that the the heating system is not consistent it is off by some degree and uh, I did have to run it twice so you guys thank you so much for tuning in and I, I appreciate you guys watching these videos and uh, hopefully you found this video helpful and uh, as soon as you guys have any questions, please uh, let me know in the comments below. And also, uh, we will do we will be doing you know plenty of projects that will be requiring us to use this heater. And uh, hopefully that goes well. So that's it. In the next video, I'll probably open this guy up and replace the uh, tape that comes with it is kept on tape, uh, which is gonna of course uh, you know l uh, reduce the fumes and the smell that it emits um, and then we're gonna do a video on once my once I get my PCB boards uh, we're, we're gonna do a surface mounting videos using the scope uh, I'm gonna do a separate video on that one but until then you guys thank you so much and I uh, will see you in the next one